Look at that. Always better to ask for forgiveness than permission, okay? The naked guy is back rolling up in style. You like quality, darling. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening. It's like 9.30. I just got in. I had to do a little bit of running around. Today started off kind of unpleasant. I had a hit and run on my car that I parked outside and I've been parking outside my building because it's fingerprint access to get in from the parkade and this is a bit of an issue lately. So I've been parking downstairs for like a month. I could have let that ruin my day, but I didn't because there was no note left. So I'm trying to get them to look at the security footage so I can file a police report. Yeah, it was a little bit unpleasant because the car company was like, oh, unless you can prove that it was someone else and get their license plate, you're gonna have to pay for it. And I was like, awesome, I have insurance with this rental package, so that doesn't sound right, but I need to look into it more. Anyways, so I'm a believer in karma. So I think that if someone did that and didn't leave a note, then they're just gonna have bad karma. And if I end up paying for it, so be it. But on a positive note, my chair is coming tonight, you guys. And on a more positive note, I sold not one, but two more properties. Whoop, whoop, whoops. I was like, you know what? You know what? We don't let things ruin our day. And the universe gives back with money with deals. So anyways, I won't celebrate obviously until the money hits the account. We never celebrate until the money hits the account, but that is a more positive note as well. And my chair is coming. So I had to send the chair back first, you guys, because it was like an Ikea nightmare. I think there was a bit of a language barrier with what I wanted. I wanted this sexy push pin cigar lounge style leather chair that I saw on CB2's website, but it was almost $2,000. It was completely flat, smooth leather. Like I'll put a photo for you. Oh my gosh. I was like, <gasps> and to be honest guys, this chair was a splurge. Like I think it was still about thousand dollars because I want it done in real leather. You know, I wanted to invest in my filming chair, you know, in my apartment. I haven't bought a TV yet because I just want like, beautiful aesthetic things that make me happy that I can actually use. And to be honest, like I noticed I haven't watched TV for the first time in maybe three weeks when Magdalena came over and was like, we can't watch Netflix. And I was like, oh yeah, like I literally never watch TV during the week and in the weekends, I'm usually out or I'm working on content. So I literally don't need a TV at the moment. And I'm just allocating my funds to other things like my leather filming chair. And so that is coming tonight, finally. It's literally in the car and he sent me a photo of it. I approve. I was like, please send me a photo before you deliver it. So anyways, I approve, I approve, it looks good. Okay guys, good morning, here she is. I didn't show you last night because the, um, the light wasn't so bright on camera. So look at this, pin pushing. Oh yes, darling, look at those details. Leather, look at how sleek she is. Oh my goodness, and I love, the black legs that I requested because the CB2 ones were silver and I wanted to just keep it neutral, keep it neutral. Now what I've also done that you guys really loved on my story last night was I have put this throw from Restoration Hardware that I just got like this. What do you guys think? It's cool, hey? Kind of gives it more of a homey vibe, not such a masculine strong vibe. We add a touch of a little femininity. I'm just waiting for a client right now. I've just reapplied this YSL. I'll show you. This is my most worn nude lip. This is the uh, YSL Beauty Tatouage Couture Matte Satin Number no. 7 Liquid Lip. This is so good. I actually need to repurchase it soon. It's running out. I love it. It's so comfortable to wear. Just FYI. And then I've got this little Zara blouse on. It's literally like over two years old. I've worn it, I think, three times. It is such a cute little cropped moment. So I had to wear high waisted pants with it just so I'm conservative in the office. So I am just waiting for a client. She's a little bit late. So while I'm here, I thought I would show you what I got in Sephora yesterday after work because it's still in the car. So I bought, I repurchased this Benefit uh, brow pencil 
that I got in neutral medium brown 3.5, but I bought the wrong one. It's the kind of angled tip. I thought it was the precisely my brow, so I messed that up. And then I needed a new purple shampoo because I think my hair is just looking a little too yellow. Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Repair Shampoo. This is really nice. And out of purple shampoos I've tried, I've tried many, you guys. They leave sometimes a lot of pigment on your hair this one is really really good I'm sweating because i turned the ac off so you can hear me i also got this hyaluronic acid serum from the inky list i needed a new face serum for the morning and this one was just an affordable option i think it's about ten dollars us there's i think radish root extract and glycerin and sodium lactic i think that's lactic acid so they had one from glow recipe that was like 170 dirhams and i was like oh this is just kind of a run-in for a brow pencil i didn't want to spend so much money but i wanted a few little bits so i got this i'll let you know how it goes and then i also got just a little micellar water i wanted to stop at mimusa which is where i get those snail gel eye patches but i couldn't find it in the mall and it was crunched for time so i just got the sephora collection just a mini just to kind of have uh just for now until i find my bioderma which is my favorite ever so i need to get my bioderma restocked but this is the sephora collection so i'll let you know how that gets on as well because my cellar waters are not all equal let me tell you i do not like the garnier one it leaves like a residue on your skin i don't like it at all and then these are the sephora collection coconut cleansing wipes to be honest with you guys sometimes when i'm really tired after a long day of work i just use a cleansing wipe and then i go in with my cellar water after so it's like a lazy person's double cleanse don't only use makeup wipes because these might leave residue on your skin oh my god i'm sweating i need to put the ac on anyways anyways that is a mini sephora haul for you on a thursday to watch shopping there's so many jewelry stores where i work and this is so cute but it's 240,000 dollars wow like oh what's over there oh look i just left my car over there <laughs> look at that <laughs> It's just for fun, guys. Little office break. How pretty is that? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I love it. So pretty. I love it! Sell more houses, but I want the gold. So, this is an aftermarket one, everybody. <laughs> this is original. <laughs> I like the APs. APs have good value, don't they? I don't know anything about watches. Guys, I'm here with my colleague Natasha. Oh my god. Okay, I want one like this. Gold one. These. Your arm can fall down in the name of fashion, darling. So this is a 33. That's Durham's 150. No, there's no way that's only 15,000. Okay, there we go. That's the price. That's the price. Oh, gorgeous though. We also have bags. There we go. This is the jumbo classic flap in caviar leather. So they also have bags in here, guys. I just picked up this lady's bag to try on, and it's actually her personal bag, but how pretty is it? <laughs> she has good taste. <laughs> so it's Friday night, and I have this fantastic spread. I've got cheese popcorn. We've got organic strawberries, we've got some salamis, and we've got Toblerone. Mm, 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 mm. The makeup is off. 
The hair is up. It's what, eight o'clock on the dot. I'm gonna get some editing done on the old laptop here. And I was invited to go out, but I really can't be bothered. So there we go. Okay, you guys, good morning. It's coffee time. It's Saturday morning. I have this new coffee. It's Jamaica Blue. The beans are from Jamaica. They roast them in Australia, then they ship it to Dubai, which is crazy. Like, imagine the carbon footprint. But I mean, ugh, Starbucks and all these other brands are no better. So it's just choose your evil, you know what I mean? So I like to do kind of like two and a half teaspoons of that. And then we just do a little pour over. I use a filter all the time because it's easier cleanup and also the times I haven't used a filter with the pour over, it's not as smooth, I'll be honest with you. So, you know, and then I have my vanilla almond milk. Sorry, soy milk, I don't like almond. I got these new teas as well. Oops, oh, we're fogging up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I also got these new teas. This is organic. I love organic teas. I'm also a tea snob. Um, my dad is a tea snob, so we always get organic teas. This is organic mint. I love mint because it's such a good after dinner tea and actually it helps to get rid of sugar cravings. So that is what I learned ages ago and it actually works sometimes if you're craving a sweet. I've just been having a lie in editing my Augustinus Botter Rich Cream review so I will link that below for you. How cute is my shelf by the way? How cute is that? How cute is that? Love it. I look a little orangey because I self tanned last night so I just need to like wash the face, do the skincare, but I'm probably just gonna like go to the gym first. Um, but I got a couple new products, nothing too exciting. So lately I've been loving obviously the Batiste dry shampoo. My issue with it is that I'm always wearing suits and it leaves a lot of residue and it like gets on my hands. If I put my fingers through my hair, it gets on my blazers, my pants, so annoying. I'm trying the cake, do gooder dry shampoo. I tried it yesterday. It has no residue at all and it's decent. So I'm gonna see how it is over the course of the week here. It's created in Canada. Oh, shout out to Canada. Anyways, I also got this really exciting hair mask. This I got in the drugstore. It's ultra growth, pro growth hair mask made in the USA with basil and castor oil. Obviously I need a hair mask that's essential when you have like hair extensions or any hair and you're doing a lot of heat styling. So this has um, niacinamide, glycerin, basil, hairy root culture extract, castor seed oil, beeswax, wheat protein, soy protein. So it has a lot of ingredients that are in like Oribe and like high-end brands and this was maybe 49 dirhams. So maybe just under $18 or so for this. So, and it's a big tub as well, which I really like. So I'll keep you guys posted how that goes. Probably use it today. And then I also didn't know that Nike makes deodorant. Guys, this smells so good. And let me tell you, it's so hard to find deodorants, especially living in Dubai that work that work and my other one was from Mitchum. It was a roll-on. It ran out and I cannot find it anywhere. Apparently it's from the UK. But I found this Nike Urbanite Gourmand Street is the scent. It actually smells so nice. It smells kind of like like sweets. It's it's but it's not too sweet. It's really nice. And it doesn't have any aluminum in it because some people really want to avoid aluminum in the underarm area. Okay guys, so I don't know what's happened with the day, but it's 3.30 and I haven't been to the gym yet, but honestly like, mm, mm. don't think we're gonna make it to the gym today, but I'm making another coffee because, you know, if I do feel like I wanna go to the gym, taking some Advil, maybe I'll get a second wind. And I just like to have a little coffee throughout the day. And this smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. I've got the aperture focus on. So I noticed in my uh, Augustinus Botter video review that that was a little, in and out of focus. So I've just got to be mindful of that with this camera, but oops, oh God, that got all over the phone, didn't it? Oof. Anyways, there is nothing like fresh coffee, you guys. I mean, I bought these as beans and I had them freshly ground in the cafe and the price wasn't bad. I think it was maybe 44 dirhams for the bag, 250 grams of coffee. So really, honestly, pretty much the same as what Starbucks charges. And this is like organic Jamaica. Blue Mountain coffee, so quality, we like quality, darling. I also, I'm gonna do a video, here I'll show you my coffee. I'm also gonna do a video on how my shopping habits have changed 
think that'll be a good one. And someone commented lately on my channel about cost per wear, which I think is a great point. I also feel like wearing a fragrance down. I'm gonna go use the pool, get some sun, edit my vlog from last week. This is the Killian Woman in Gold. I think it's quite nice. And oh my God, I just dumped that all over the place. Oh God. <laughs> just gonna put that on here. Change shirts. It's very fragrant, isn't it? What I was looking at last night as well is I, my friend told me I should get a, a diffuser, like a nice scent in the house because the candle that I have is almost totally gone now. And obviously like to keep buying scented candles, like that's like a, a lot of upkeep because I like to burn them for like three hours at least per night. So I'm thinking to get a reed diffuser. If you guys have any recommendations for like maybe like a vanilla scent. I saw there was one from Voluspa, which is a candle brand I used to love, but they're not as easy to find in Dubai. I used to have like all of them in my house, so many from this shop in Yale Town called The Cross. If you guys are from Vancouver and you know The Cross, comment below because it's such a cute store, chicest items. A lot of expensive items so i used to just buy like i think i actually got this type of cutlery from there yeah, they had veluspa and i saw veluspa has vanilla santal reed diffusers and candles and i was like oh oh so I'm, i've got a little wish list right now i think it was on farfetch or was it bloomingdale's anyways if anyone has any really nice reed diffusers i also saw one from aqua de parma a little bit more of a splurge but they seem to last for months and months so I'm open to it, so any recommendations are welcome. Okay, so got some raspberries. We splurged because I feel like there's little luxuries in life. You know what I mean? Like it's not all about designer. It's not all about fashion. Like a luxury could be having an evening into yourself, like I did last night. A luxury could be affording berries in the home. You know, like bountiful. Like my dad used to always say that the, if we had a fruit bowl that was full, he, he always called it the prosperity bowl. I thought it was cute. He'd always say like, oh, I need to refill the prosperity bowl. You know, it just looks like a bounty because for a lot of people in countries around the world, you know, basic human necessities like food and clean water are not so accessible, right? So in his mind, it was the prosperity bowl. So I don't have a prosperity bowl yet. And also I don't know if I would eat the fruit fast enough to make it valid to have a fruit bowl like full little times so guys this is the first time i've been to my swimming pool since i moved in i'm just tanning the legs actually because the sun is just on the legs which i prefer because i can edit my vlog from last week i swear i never stopped working but i love it okay guys so i got fomo and didn't want to stay in because i was an introvert last night and i'm in the prime of my life and anyways we're going for dinner with disa and her friends so i'm wearing this world of inda necklace that you may have seen in the summer in a haul really quickly i'm wearing the velour lashes essentials kit huda beauty vixen and then a maj bustier top in their classic collection camilla kimono of course look at that detail all crystal on the back wish you could see it and these are zara shorts so old and then the Cassidy boots. Yes, I might review these if you guys are interested. They're so hot. Anyways, this is the fit. This is the fit. I'm gonna go to Akira back on the palm. And I haven't worn this necklace in ages. I feel like it's a vibe. And the kimono is like very like sushi vibes, you know? Last time I went to this hotel, I actually met the coolest Japanese guys and they were wearing kimonos. So they kind of inspired this look. They were the sweetest people ever. Anyways, anyways, let's go. Let's go, let's go. She doesn't want to be in the vlog. We just because I have dinner. red wine she lips. Wine lips. <laughs> we just finished dinner in Akira back. We're gonna go downstairs. I have to finish my vodka Red Bull, so I'm gonna try and take this. 
in the elevator. Cheers, cheers. I'm gonna try and try and take this in the elevator because it's always better to ask for forgiveness than permission, okay? Okay, so we're getting away with it so far. The drink is secured in the kimono, guys. The drink is secured. The drink is secured. <laughs> Wait, is the lighting good? This is She's my Beverly Hills housewife. Oh, she's not a housewife, but like, look, she could be. Look at her, she's fabulous. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Guys, it's too much. Oh, thank you. Don't forget your fitness this weekend. It's so important that you stay hydrated mm. and dress for success. That's why I have my little lemon socks on. Anyways, I have to work out now. Bye. Okay, it's so grainy. This is Disa. She's beautiful. I love her. She's from Finland. And um, I love you more. We're, I love you. We're avoiding a naked German man right now. <laughs> why are the Germans so crazy? Schwanz. <laughs> what do you say in small in German? What's small? Klein. Klein and Klein Schwanz. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to do next, but we're enjoying some lovely Dom. So cheers to that. You know, cheers to Dom. Cheers soda, to. Like a true fan. Yes. Vodka soda. Cheers to um, Klein Schwanzes. And <laughs> actually, no. No cheers to that. I take it back. <laughs> No, we do not. <laughs> Anyways, I have champagne spilt all over my sock because a crazy German man literally cannonballed over on my lounge chair and knocked my drink over. So that happened. Oh, no. He's back. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. Oh, the naked guy is back. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. Stop it. morning guys it's sunday i'm sitting in my filming chair oh i'm feeling fancy feeling fancy i don't know what's on for today last night was fun we went to obviously villa on the palm i might put some footage of it uh but yeah it was a fun night we had the private room in akira back it's like japanese in the w hotel and it was like a big group and they were pretty rowdy to be honest so i didn't film much of the dinner because like one guy was in the room without a shirt on and i was like can we calm down but they had been drinking all day they were in a beach club and yeah i was working all day so it was kind of like okay i'm a little bit behind the vibe here so had a few drinks had a good time but i'm not too hungover today to be honest and i'm feeling good you know sometimes it's that balance of like i want to be an introvert and stay in and i'm so focused on work right now regarding real estate and this channel and my content but also like you need to enjoy yourself and you need to go out and you need to get glammed up and you need that confidence boost for yourself. You know, I'm feeling inspired, I'm feeling creative, you know, and I think it's so important in life to be creative and have something that brings you happiness and just to see something built from nothing in a creative sense or a business sense is a beautiful thing. And you know, that's what this channel and my blog and everything is to me, just building something from nothing, growing a community, growing a following, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And so far, honestly, you guys have been so supportive and I think I honestly have some of the best subscribers ever. You guys are so sweet, so supportive. And it's funny because sometimes with YouTube, we have like these parasocial relationships on social media, you know, where there's people that you follow and you keep up with their life you know and you might never meet them such as me right and it's like you don't see updates for a while you wonder where that person is how they're doing it's funny like we all have these parasocial relationships and it's just kind of the way the world is right now with so many things online you can follow people from around the world so anyways I guess one of my parasocial relationships is you guys, my subscriber base, and seeing your comments and your support and all of that, it really means a lot. So that's just my little Sunday appreciation, and I just did my skincare, so I'm feeling very hydrated. But I need to actually finish a moisturizer. I need to do a moisturizer. I really love that Inky List serum that I showed you earlier in the vlog. Honestly, $10, it's super solid hyaluronic acid serum. The reason I bought it is because my other hyaluronic acid serum has the vitamin C and that's better to be applied at night or else they say you should use an SPF with a vitamin C serum because the light degrades it, supposedly. Conflicting research on that, but I touched on that in my Augustinus Botter Rich Cream review video. If you haven't seen it, link below and see you soon. 
Okay, you guys, so change of plan. I'm gonna go meet Kara at the Sofitel. They're doing a ladies day and it's all free. It's by the beach, the pool, really nice. A lot of places in Dubai do stuff like that. So I quickly just washed my hair. I did a hair mask, excuse the laundry. I still need to buy a clothes drying rack. Oh my goodness. Anyways, the car ride is gonna be about 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna let this air dry and we're not wearing makeup today because it's Sunday. We're casual, we're not fussed. This is the outfit, this is the outfit and just gonna have a good little girls catch up. Chantal has us rolling up in style. Honey. <laughs> Love it. Okay, guys, so we're also here with Kara's friend Chantal, who I've just met. She's fabulous. <laughs> Hello. Hey. She's so beautiful. I love her. And the girl has good taste. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we're heading to dinner on Chantal's yacht. What a Sunday, what a Sunday. I love it, okay, let's go. <laughs> you guys, they have a kitty on the yacht. Like I'm dying, you're so cute. What's her name? Do you know? Uh, I forget. You're so cute. Nice. But she's very pretty. She's so cute. Oh my god. Hi, honey. You're so pretty. Normally, like Siamese movie? cats are standoffish, but she's so nice. Like a movie star cat. She's beautiful. <laughs> movie star kitty. You're beautiful. Look at you. Oh my god. You're so cute. Why are you so cute? What a cat. Oh my gosh. This cat has the best life, you guys. Like, what? <laughs> 